land pollution. So today we are talking about land pollution and the land we live on provides us with so many important things. Can you imagine living in a house that is built on a pile of garbage or eating vegetables from a garden that is filled with trash? When the land is clean, people, plants and animals have healthy places to live and grow. All these things work together according to nature's design and plants gives us vegetables to eat and oxygen to breathe. When nature is clean and clear of garbage, we can enjoy its beauty. The beach, a sunset, a bike ride, on a mountain trail, these kinds of things are much better in a clean and uncluttered place. Whenever you hear anyone talking about land pollution, just remember there are many types of land pollution, not just garbage. So there's solid waste, pesticides and fertilizers, chemicals and deforestation and all of these things are types of land pollution. Here's a picture of solid waste. Solid waste is basically garbage, trash. Another land pollution is pesticides and overusing pesticides can contaminate your soil, your water, and your vegetation. So it's best to use small amounts of pesticides just to kill the box but not give land pollution. The same goes for fertilizer. Giving your plants fertilizer will make them grow big and strong. However, using too much will lead to land pollution. Using a lot of plant chemicals as well can also lead to land pollution. Deforestation leads to the loss of land's value once converted into dry and barred land and this could never be made fertile again. Hence the reason that this can lead to land pollution.